my son is autistic you know and as a mother every day you want to try something for your child he is not to the standard of other normal kids of his age he doesn't concentrate he doesn't have eye contact he doesn't know many things children of his age know you can send him for example to give you a cup but he, he doesn't know what a cup is you know so he doesn't i think he doesn't understand he doesn't he can unless you use action we've now taught him to use action uh like sign language to communicate but if you talk and you don't use any sign language he doesn't understand what you're talking about he'll look at you blankly like what are you saying so that's how i came to realize that stem cells can help improve give it a try for him the parents that have come here you stay convinced like this is my problem and I think this is a place for me to try. Can you please tell me uh, what's your name, where are you from, and what brought you to the clinic? Uh, my name is Margaret. I'm from the United States of America. So my son is autistic, you know, and as a mother, every day you want to try something for your child. So I've been going online through Facebook, YouTube, trying to see anything that can help the child because back in the u.s we do aba therapy and other therapies for the child but when i went to the youtube i read about stem cells so i wanted to know more about it so at first i saw it was done in india and then uh, i came across uh, swiss medica here in serbia so i looked at it the option and uh, I was able to ask questions to the clinic. I was able to have a Zoom meeting with the doctor so that they could tell me more about it, if it could help cure my son, you know. Uh, so that is how I came to Serbia. I came to look for better improvement in terms of IQ, improvement in behavior, because he's not to the standard of other normal kids of his age. So, just trying to see if it can help improve all that with him. And can you please tell me what uh, what's your symptoms? How do they manifest during ordinary ordinary day? So when is uh, when we discovered he was autism? at around uh, three four years of age, he had like uh, his developmental milestones were different from other children of his age but the major challenge was he was non-verbal he could not speak he just makes sounds which are so noisy but doesn't make sense so when we went to see a doctor a pediatrician he was able to give us a diagnosis that is autism he's autistic so apart from non-verbal he doesn't concentrate he doesn't have eye contact he doesn't know many things children of his age know you can send him for example to give you a cup but he, he doesn't know what a cup is you know so he doesn't i think he doesn't understand he doesn't he can unless you use action we've now taught him to use action uh like sign language to communicate but if you talk and you don't use any sign language he doesn't understand what you're talking about he'll look at you blankly like what are you saying you know when he was young he could not do some major things like you know, at age of six, seven, we still have to help him for the bathroom, can't hold a spoon well, so. How did you come up with the idea of trying stem cells? You mentioned previously that you you found videos on YouTube, right? Yes, I found videos on YouTube. And, uh, you know, when you are a autistic parent, especially when you're a mother, and your son is autistic, first they say there's no cure. They just say we try to manage the symptoms to try to help them fit in the society but you know as a mother you don't give up so i used to go online and search keyword for autism you try to see if there's anything more so the first they came through was uh they do bone marrow transplant in india that's what i came through and then later i discovered that stem cells can be done and then when you google that it comes like in serbia in other places of the world too so you try to read deeply and see what's the benefit of this than the other and how does it help you know so that's how i came to realize that stem cells can help improve 
improve their IQ, help them to regenerate. You know, they, they have like inactive cells in their body that blocks that part of their communication. So it's like uh, the cells are sick. That part of, it's not the whole body, just particular that helps with communication and some parts of speech. So they say the stem cells are like healing cells. They try to trigger them to wake up and, you know, heal them. So that's how I say, as a mother, it doesn't hurt to try. You will do anything for your child, you know. So I say, let me give it a try. And, you know, we keep on hoping mm -hmm. that everything is going to be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you mentioned that you had a Zoom consultation with doctors in our clinic, right? They, are, they were from our clinic. They yeah. are from our clinic. Yes. So, you know, I never knew a country called Serbia. Initially, first I thought it was Russia, and I was like, there's so much work going in Russia, how is it gonna be? So I had a Zoom meeting, and then the other reason was, the world is is so, the world has become like so, so many con people outside there. You aren't sure, is this true, you know? So I wanted to be sure, is this a true thing? So when I went to the, the Swiss Medica, page youtube you are able to see testimonies from other parents and you know you get encouraged that this is true it's workable people have been going but still you have that doubt in your mind so i was able to get in touch with one of the doctors here and they organized a zoom meeting and i was able to ask all questions like what do you do what is the benefit of this you've done studies and you've shown that it's working and another question that I liked how that she answered that convinced me, I told her, I asked her, why would I come to Swiss Medica than going to India? In India, they do bone marrow. bone marrow from your child. So the doctor told me, bone marrow from your child, it's like taking from already damaged person. But here we use like the stem cells from the placenta and umbilical cord, which is fresh, something healthy. So, you know, you look at the pros and cons and you weigh and say okay i think this is the right place we can give it a try so it's it's some money yes because you know traveling all the way and you have to pay all that so it took me a few months to save and uh, give it a try for him and you mentioned that you have uh, some kind of uh, let's say obstacles or fears before coming here yeah and you mentioned that uh, whether if i understand you correctly whether we are clinic as a clinic we exist uh, or we are reliable or not right can you specify what count what, what kind of doubts did you have the first thing i was uh worried of if there's a reaction you are coming all the way miles away you don't know if there might be a reaction or something and then i didn't know how the procedure will happen so she explained to me that it's not invasive procedure which is a good thing. They do it while you're awake. Your child will just be smiling because they give the infusions intravenously, intramuscular and inhalation. So there's no harm whatsoever. And then my child is not so young, so they didn't have to give sedation. So no harming. And then she assured me that uh, the stem cells we were using, of course, I went back to study that and see. Uh, the placenta and the umbilical cord they're like fresh cells they they the, the body does not react to them you know yeah. yeah so all those fears were allayed and uh, it came to be true because he did the procedure he's just smiling like every day no. he was smiling while he, he yeah did. yeah he's not afraid of needles so wow. there was no reaction there was nothing just a... you didn't have any sedation no he didn't have any sedation yeah and how long have you been here? In I've been here for nine days because uh, they've been giving us... Uh, when we came, we arrived like on a Sunday, on Monday they have to do the blood test. So what they were saying, you know, they have to do all the blood tests because, you know, the way the stem cells work, when they enter the body, they target where the damage is, it's in the brain. So they have to do blood tests to rule out any infection. Because if you have infection, let's say pneumonia or another part, they will run to work to that place and that will be like a wasted, you know. Yeah, so they, they do all the blood tests and they are so good. They explain to you 
everything about the test and then when they see that everything is good, they're able to give the cells. So we were given the cells on alternate days, like on a Tuesday, Wednesday they rest as they observe the child, Thursday and another one we got on Monday. So we've been here for the whole thing, nine days. But in between the other days, uh, they give them inhalation and they give them the uh, stem cells that they put to the nose, the nasal spray. Mm -hmm. And in between the other days, they occupy the child. The child has been having ABA therapy, speech therapy, working with them, you know. So it's been an organized, busy schedule for that nine days. Have you consulted with your doctor before coming to the clinic, whether it's worth to try stem cells or not? I didn't consult my doctor, my pediatrician. Because um, where I come from, it's still not being done much to young children. So it's still an issue that it's still work in progress. But you know, as a mother, you have that instinct that you, you want to try. Yeah. So this was just a personal decision with my family. We sat down and I said, uh, if it's not harmful to the child, it's worth giving it a try. You are from United States. How long does it take to fly to Serbia? Was it difficult for you and for your child to travel? So, so? we traveled like 15 hours. Um, yeah, I won't say it's difficult because I look at it like, I look at the bigger picture. What are, we, what are we looking for? You know, it's like you're going for gold. So whether I swim the ocean and there are sharks, we our focus is on the bigger picture because it's hard to travel with a small child like there was a long flight of eight hours sometimes you fell asleep he soiled himself you you know because he's autistic he's not settled he's tired of sitting he wants to wake up but you know i look at them as not real they're small things compared to what we are coming for. And what did doctors in our clinic told you about uh, expectations and uh, when should you start noticing first improvements, stuff like that? Yes, they explained everything. They said uh, we start noticing the changes between three to four months or mm -hmm. six months at length. Mm -hmm. You start seeing if there's a change in behavior or anything, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, the major thing my doctor she's very good she's explained everything she's called uh, her name gets yes Dr. Bori, 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 Bori. Aida no, yeah. or Rosme. Rosme. Dr. Rosme oh Rosme kudos to her she is very professional she'll explain everything so she said after the therapy most important thing we should continue triggering the child let them not just be, you know, help them trigger them, occupy them, engage them, make them try to play with other kids, to be normal like others. Don't, don't isolate them, don't withdraw them. So as the stem cell works, external activity also helps to trigger them. So all in that, it helps them with therapy. So one of the good things back in the US, they offer very good ABA therapy back in school. So of course you will continue with that and back at home also we continue triggering him yeah and uh, they are gonna give us more medication we're gonna use for the next few months nasal mm -hmm. drops mm -hmm. for the stem cells mm -hmm. and so we still have medicine to continue to help him yeah nice yes so we'll be watching him three four months at maximum six months mm -hmm. and then the doctors say they will keep in touch with me to try to see the progress and not, you know, if there's any change and even if we have any question, we still, we can still communicate and... Uh, hmm, that's but, good. Yes, yeah. yeah. Why have you chosen Swiss Medica? I chose Swiss Medica because um, I told you like, uh, when I had uh, the Zoom meeting with the doctor and I asked my question, she convinced me, this is the place, that's one of them. And then I told you the other thing, I prefer their method of therapy. Non-invasive, like I told you, the stem cells are given IV, intramuscular, intranasal. So no pain for the child, you know, yeah. 
and uh, I looked at the online views, you know, mm. the parents that have come here, you stay convinced like this is my problem and I think this is a place for me to try because there is one in Mexico next to me where I come from but I say let me go this far distance and see if this is the real thing that will help my child. Would you like to say something uh, more about the clinic stuff? Anything you want to say, you feel free to say. Yeah, I would like to appreciate all the stuff. First of all, I've said kudos to my doctor. Rosny, Dr. Rosny. Rosny, oh my God, she is awesome. She's so professional. She'll explain everything to you. And she's patient with you. You know the way children are, she'll take her time and she will look out for you. Thank you so much. Uh, I want to also appreciate all the staff, beginning from like the the person who connected us here, aside yeah. from the medical advisor, they keep you updated on the email, they give you all the information you need to know, and then when we arrived, they picked us from the airport, which was very good. We just arrived, we saw my son's name written there, so you, you know somebody was waiting for you, and then you come in. You get it, communication from the administrative assistant, meaning they were preparing to receive you from the hotel rooms. The staff were friendly, they were clean, kitchen, it's different food, but you are able to get into the system and eat what you want, change your menu. They were always there to help you. General cleanliness of the place is very good. Everybody's professional, we say thank you. Thank yeah. you to Swiss Medica. It is home away from home. Uh, and probably the last question, have you got the time to discover Belgrade, Serbia, I don't know? Yes, the administrative assistant twice was able to let the driver walk us around. We went to, uh, we went to the shopping mall, there's this one, Galeria. Yes, yes, you were able to go around, shop around, see around the community. It's a nice place. It's a real place that I, I never knew about this until I came. What are you feeling uh, while you're in, in Serbia? Oh, it's very different. It's 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 a whole a own country on its own. Yeah, you see everybody busy with their own life, making want to make their ends meet. So everything just went on good. It's a uh, and when you look at beautiful buildings around. Yeah, you're able to see beautiful buildings around. And yeah, it's a good place to be. I just want to encourage everybody out there, if you are a mother and you have an autistic child, keep on trying. So I want to tell them this is the place you can come and give it a try. I'm waiting to see the effects of therapy, but you know, trying does not, you know, you want to do everything for your child.